fastest growing developmental disorders. Jim Delavega is at the California Autism Center to learn more about treatment and therapy. Jim. And that's exactly right, Kevin Copey. April is Autism Awareness Month, and, and we're talking to the doctor here about autism. We're talking about how to recognize it. And uh, the other big question is, if you recognize it, then what? Then definitely go to your pediatrician, share your concerns with your pediatrician, and then get a diagnosis. Most insurance companies cover um, ABA treatment or applied behavior analysis treatment. That is the gold standard treatment for um, autism spectrum disorder. Uh, also with that is that applied behavior analysis, people always say, hey, Dr. W, what's applied behavior analysis? The technical statement is that it is um, a science in which the procedures are derived from the principles of behavior and are systematically applied to improve socially significant behaviors. That was a mouthful. <laughs> but um, So what does that mean? That means that we look at changing environmental variables and show that those changes in the environment can affect the behaviors or cause these behaviors to go away or, or acquisition of skills. So um, that's, most insurance companies do cover that uh, ABA treatment. We wanna get these kiddos in as soon as possible because again, 30 years of research shows that ABA um, can improve behavior, communication, um, and language, social skills, adaptive skills, and basically improve their quality of life. And that's my recommendation, definitely. And, and uh, there, there's so many different things you can do uh, within that that you guys are doing, and it depends, I assume, on, on the, the person you're dealing with, correct? It really does. What um, ABA providers, they do, and what we do incredibly, is we meet the child where they're at. We look at these seven different domains of development, um, just to name a few, social language, play, academics, cognitive, executive functioning, um, and adaptive skills. And we <laughs> assess the child where they're at, and we develop programs to really hit those areas of deficits and to work also with the families in doing so too. That's something that's very unique about our, our center here, which I think we can probably talk about a little later, but um, so definitely if you have that diagnosis, start treatment very quickly. Or if you have a kiddo that has, is older, school age, and has a diagnosis, you can still start treatment. There is still hope to change the trajectory of their life. And, and that's the thing, it's not that, okay, this is the way they will be for the rest of their life. Not if, you take action to help with that. That's the whole point of the therapy. Correct. We um, want to intervene and we want to help build skills that are gonna make them functioning independent members of our society. That's our main goal, improving their quality of life. And uh, Kim and Kobe, again, this is April is Autism Awareness Month, so we're helping you find out more about this very scary word. Back to you. Well, thank you.